Alright, howdy boyos. Welcome to Aircraft Carrier Survival. This is a free demo you can play right now on Steam. I've actually had this particular game in my wish list for quite a while, but today they just released a free trial to the game, so I figured we could check it out, and it is very promising. I did play a game called U-Boat, which was a uh, sort of mix between like Silent Hunter and Battle Station specific, but you just really manned a single U-Boat and did all the crew management and all that stuff. Then this game is pretty similar to that, but instead of a U-Boat, you control an aircraft carrier and its task force, and it is pretty detailed. So let's jump into the game and I'll show you around. So we are gonna do a normal difficulty campaign, and first of all, before you get into the game, you have to uh, make your Admiral. You can make him look pretty ridiculous, by the way. I've been messing around with this, and I'm not really sure uh, which Admiral would be taken serious uh, looking looking like that, but if you wanted to, you can make him look pretty ridiculous. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a couple of minutes, make my guy look uh, representable, and then uh, we'll show you the final result and jump into the actual game. All right, so I figured we could immediately annoy a few people and start off by making Douglas MacArthur, obviously a very famous uh, admiral, wink, wink, get it? He, he wasn't, but a very famous admiral. I actually was surprised at how close I could uh, I could get to him. So I figured we'd just stick to that. Uh, the portrait is more of a joke, and there wasn't really any portrait that really fit the guy, but we're just gonna, oh, actually, I like this guy better. We're gonna just stick with this, and then we'll jump into the actual game where the game actually goes pretty in detail. Sir, you uh, can really adjust your entire task force. Uh, you can adjust your planes, you can upgrade them, you can upgrade your ships. This is the tutorial. We're just gonna kind of skip through this because I have already uh, obviously played a couple minutes to try and get an idea. But if you wanna play this for yourself, I'll link it in the, uh, in the description below the video. It's just free to play. I think it's only the first mission or the first couple missions. But the main thing that I thought was really interesting, you can, like I said, upgrade your planes. So we start off with some Vindicators, Devastators, and Buffaloes, but you can upgrade these over time. As you can see, they can all be upgraded five times, and then they'll uh, get better stats overall. Um, the same goes for your carrier. You can upgrade stuff on it. And I think my favorite thing about this game so far is that you can actually change the name of your ship. Uh, currently, there's only one class in the game. They said they want to have more, as you can see, that are not available right now. Uh, but there should be a bunch more that you will uh, naturally progress through as you're playing the game, which has a campaign. And the cool thing is you can actually change the name of your ship, and it actually shows it right here. So I can say uh, Howdy Boyos, for example. And this was now the, uh, the Howdy Boyos boat. I'm not sure if that's necessarily a great name for it, but... Of course, the Howdy Boyos boat, though funny, isn't necessarily what I want to call my ship. So we're going to refer to it as the HNLMS De Reuter, which, uh, as you may know, I am Dutch, and that's a very famous uh, Dutch ship. And a cool thing is it does actually show up here. HNLMS stands for His or Her Netherlands Majesty's Ship, in case you didn't know that. Uh, so now we have, I believe the Dutch actually had one carrier uh, just post World War II. It might have been one of the old American carriers they bought. So uh, we're going to just say that that's the one, the one carrier the Dutch got. So now we have to assign stuff to our escort. As you can see, you can make it bigger uh, with points later on down the line. But there is a large amount of different ships you can take. Now, supply ships and cargo ships allow you to replenish planes that are lost or repair them. Um, obviously, destroyers, submarines, like cruisers, they all have their own things. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna take the escort carrier away and turn it into a destroyer, which you can see you can cha see changing over here. We're gonna keep our supply and cargo ships for right now. So to start off, I'm gonna think we're gonna put one point into upgrading our ship. Uh, we have three options here. We can upgrade our radar range, which adds antennas, or uh, I guess upgrades them. We can add hangar capacity, or we can upgrade our AA stations. I really like the look of this one, because it actually adds, I think those might be twin 127mm guns, as well as uh, just extra AA guns there on the back of the ship. So we're going to go ahead and upgrade one of these. And then we are going to have one upgrade point left. And I'm thinking we might try and upgrade one of our plane types. So we could upgrade the SBT or the TBDs or the F2As. And I'm thinking we should maybe just upgrade the dive bombers. There we go. And now they are SBD3s. And obviously that goes on and on and on. As you can see their survivability has gone a little higher. So probably have a little bit more health or a little bit more uh, resilience against enemy fire. 
So we have no upgrade points left. We have pretty much done what I wanted to do. Uh, we cannot assign any new crew because uh, we don't have the upgrade points available. And we are, uh, I think, just going to stick with the supply ship, the destroyer, and the cargo ship for our escort. So we're going to go ahead and launch, pick a mission, and uh, try and prevent Japan's advancement before they reach New Guinea. We have reached the Coral Sea, Admiral. The last scouting report confirmed. The enemy invasion fleet progressing as expected. They will approach from here, here, or straight through this location. We can count on continuous support from land-based Australian scouts. Our recon has identified two harmless fleets in the area. No aircraft carriers were spotted. As a reminder, our main objective is to defend Port Moresby. Based on the CIC analysis, the optimal position to launch an airstrike against the invasion fleet is from Zone G7. All right, so as you can see, we had our uh, our little briefing there. We're going to just get us out of the way so he stops talking about it. And this is the screen, and this is what very much reminded me of uh, the U-Boat game. You can see inside of your boat, you can see every little compartment, which is actually kind of nuts when you think about how detailed this all is. And you are going to have to uh, make sure that if, you know, let's say there's damage in this specific room or in this room, you're going to have to send your uh, your emergency crews there to, you know, fight things that you think are the most important to fight first. Uh, we have the uh, overall deck view where you can call in planes. We have obviously fighters, dive bombers, and torpedo bombers available to us. We have the bridge or island section where our actually character, I'm trying to find him right now. He's in here somewhere. That might be me right there. Oh, am I wearing my hat? I don't think I am. And then we have the full view, which is the, the free view. You can see here we have our uh, our ships here, our destroyers. I guess our destroyers and these ships would technically be in a different uh, position here. But And we can see, obviously, our HNLMS De Reuter on the front of the ship. Now, one thing I learned very fast was that you're going to have to use the camera views to do a lot of things in the game. So for example, let's say you want to call fighters to the deck. the deck. We can see them come out of the middle. There we go, they're getting put on the elevator. Brought up. And then lifted off. And then we can go fast forward as they get pushed all the way back. Now we could push these guys out and tell them to go for a recon mission or something similar. And actually that might not be a horrible idea. So before we do that though, let's check the map and we need to maneuver to the uh, strategic position. This is a secondary objective. It's not necessarily 100% something we have to do, but I figured it wouldn't, uh, you know, if the game says go here, then the game kind of means go there, right? So we could use uh, these fighters to go for some recon, though we're going to have to call another fighter to the deck. So we switch to the deck view, add more fighters. It's going to take a couple seconds to launch to get onto the deck. Um, so in the meantime, we can give our ship the order, or I guess our entire fleet, or our battle group, to go half speed. And this is where it comes in. You cannot go full speed unless you assign a third crew member to the navigation department. Now, a little cheeky, I don't know if they've done this on purpose. The, cur the crew currently in the engineering department, if you assign them to the air department, they give a 10% bonus. So we're going to send them to the air department. We're going to take this guy and drop him in the navigation department. And then we should, um, after they reach their, their stations, this is a little animation for them actually moving there, we can, when they reach the destination, set our battle fleet to go full speed, which will take a couple minutes for them to obviously, you know, traverse the entire ship. In the meantime, our planes have reached the, uh, the deck, so we can now send a recon mission. We do have two question marks spotted, and we have a, a big storm formation on the map here. So I'm thinking we probably want to figure out what the closer unit is, although it might be might be worth just scouting in general. All right, we've confirmed the scout location for our fighters. So they're going to start taking off here soon as we click launch. Start engines. The crews are going to jump on board of the planes as it also will get pushed down the uh, the runway i guess it's not called a runway on an aircraft carrier but the flight deck and then they're going to get into a position where they can take off and they're going to give us intel 
Now they did say there was no aircraft carriers around, but that doesn't mean there is no land-based fighters or land-based aircraft around. There goes our buffaloes, they're gonna take off. As you can see the crew is actually trying to make, you know, they're pushing the plane to position, leaving it, and then they are leaving for the recon mission. Take a quick look at the map. It looks that the storm front is moving right to left. We're gonna go ahead and speed up a little bit here as our recon is heading out. All right, we've just spotted the Daiko defensive fleet, including destroyers, submarines, and more destroyers. They look to be coming our way, and obviously we do have a small escort, but submarines and twice the amount of destroyers that we have could cause some severe problems. We're going to have to, I think, prevent or start uh, an attack formation on this fleet as we kind of slow down the time here. Now, it might be worth for us to try and figure out how we're going to attack them. They do have a good defensive and offensive capabilities, so I'm trying to figure that out here in a second. All right, we are currently under attack by, I assume, some land-based uh, aircraft. So we're trying to get some fighters up ASAP. We are going to have to then send them up on a combat air patrol as we have, it looks like, dive bombers and some scouts nearby our carrier. That is quite a few dive bombers and they're coming in pretty fast. So we don't have a lot of time to uh, try and get these fighters up. One of the two is up. Here comes the second mount. We do have some uh, anti-air upgrades, so it's good. Hopefully we don't have to use them though. That's the second one up, and then we gotta get our combat air patrol to launch ASAP. Here we go. Can we cancel this one? Counter hostile scouts. Actually, no, we'll do combat air patrol, because we want to counter the attacks coming in. And we don't really care about the scouts, because they've already found this, clearly. They don't, you know, need to know where we are. So we're gonna launch the aircraft. Pilots are jumping aboard as well as the crew is pushing the planes to the takeoff area here. And then hopefully six fighters will be enough to counter that huge amount of dive bombers coming. We might actually consider sending even uh, some anti-scout units here. So we'll actually do that. We'll send uh, two of our fighters to go after the scouts. Got the escort that's under attack. Here's the dive bombers. And this is the scouts we already knew about, so... Oh crap, we didn't actually put the planes on the deck. So we need to put fighters, more fighters, one and two, and then we'll get them to engage the scouts. And now it's going to be interesting to see if our fighters can at least try to knock out some of those dive bombers before they get too close. And these, uh, these two we're sending up will be to counter the scouts that we currently have going on. Also, we're going to have to slow down. Okay, we're already on dead slow, which is good. Here comes one of them. And then when the second one, take a look. Okay, so this is the coming up. So we'll do the launching against the scouts. Hopefully this goes faster. They're not going very fast. I mean, I guess it takes a while back to get them all. It takes a while to get all those planes, as you can see, out of the hangar and into onto the flight deck and then actually get them going. But... They're almost ready. Here comes the last buffalo. We're going to fast forward. They're being pulled back. And then I believe I've already set it up where they're going to take off and engage. Yes, that is correct. Thank God. Okay, they got to go fast though because we got to deal with those scouts as well as the uh, attacking dive bombers, which are getting pretty close right now. All right, there we go. Our damage control teams are on the way. It looks like a fire broke out in a shower room, or it actually might be right below the electronics room here. So we're getting them over here ASAP. Where the hell did they have to come from? Oh, all the way from the back of the ship. Oh, they're running, though. Looks like we have oh, another section on fire. That's not very good. On your command. we got to hurry up. On our way. We're also being attacked by a submarine now. Oh, it's all coming together. This is only the first battle... All right, they gotta hurry up and get this fire under control, or it's not gonna be very good. So we do have to work on the submarine, which means we need to get two torpedo bombers on the deck. 
So let's switch it back to launching. And it will get two torpedo bombers on the deck. And then when they are up, they can engage. As we're trying to figure out what's happening with this fire. At least we got guys working on that right now. You can see the planes being loaded up on the elevator going on to the flight deck. I'm hoping this is... Okay, it looks like they're working on it. Okay, that's one. Yes, sir. Next one. There they are. Okay, good. They're gonna... <laughs> they're running into the fire. Okay, they're right. They're fixing it. I don't know what happened there, but definitely... Uh, that's definitely not a good thing. They're working on it, at least. Okay, our planes are almost on the deck. I think that might be the entire... Okay, we destroyed the scouts, so they can come back. But then we still have to deal with the planes, which are right here. I mean, they are there not very far away. Oh. Sir, they are not very far away. They have been... Needed. Oh, come on. I'm wondering where my uh, Comet Air Patrol is. Tactical map. Okay, we need to get closer to these recon. I totally forgot. I can't be out of the range of them or they're going to fall into the ocean running out of fuel. We also got to put our deck to regular uh, take-in mode or recover mode. As you can see, I think these might be uh, Val dive bombers. They are very close. They're almost right on top of us here. So, okay. Uh, Anti-submarine hunt. So there's not enough on deck. Aren't these... Did I call them the wrong ones? That's weird. Those symbols... Oh, you know what? I totally mislooked those. <laughs> oh, no. I called it... I called it torpedo bombers and I need dive bombers. Okay. So we got to get these guys out of there. It looks like we did knock out their plane attack, which is good. But we did call in the wrong plane. So that's uh, very awesome. Good job on my end there. So we need to now get the actual planes we need. Which would be to let's make sure triple sure the actual dive bombers. So we'll get dive bombers out of here as soon as possible. We'll launch them and then we'll get to recovery because we need to get all those planes around us uh, back on the deck. We even said some of our fighters had suffered some damage in that engagement with the Valentines. So we gotta hurry up here. Also, because I want to deal with that submarine before it gets too scary. So we gotta position ourselves Move the torpedo bomber squadron back to the hangar. a little bit like that. We'll go a little faster. Is that a what is that? Is that a Valentine flying by? Oh wait, aren't they all dead? Oh, they are right above us here. I thought they were all gone. Oh, they're bombing us right now. They missed, I think. Oh, that's close. I really wish my AA was was my AA not turned on. Oh no, there's people in there. I don't know why they're not fighting though. Get them in there. It's my are my guys. Uh, okay. Can we just get you? I guess we'll just put you in this main room here. So we're kind of in the middle of the entire ship. I don't really know where I have to put them anywhere specifically. Okay. On your command. Here comes our dive bombers. They're going to engage the submarines. Did we lose fighters? Or is that oh, that's the ones available. Okay, never mind. We're good. So I'm trying to get in range of these guys. I think we're almost in range of them, which is good. We got to get them in the recovery state, though, ASAP. So whenever these guys are ready, that's the first wave. We'll go fast forward for just a second. Oh, really? Oh. Okay, so we got to take a look here. It looks like this guy right here needs some medical attention, so we'll transport him to the infirmary. It's going to be away for about an hour, it looked like, I think. And then this is updates. Oh my god, we are not doing so hot right now. We immediately had to deal with the, the main, uh, pretty big attack there. So it looks like now we could launch our carrier strike force on that submarine, and then we can change the deck into recovery. And hopefully that will allow the planes nearby to uh, drop in and land before they run out of fuel here pretty soon. Although it looks like these guys already may be out of fuel and that would be a little awkward. Okay. Planes are launching. Did we lose them? That's a good question. I don't know if we did. We might have. 
So Sir, we're engaging. Member of your staff requires urgent medical aid. Ag again. The DC team transport him to the infirmary. Oh, we have to. Are I see. Okay, so we actually have to move him in there. I see. Okay. Fair enough. This isn't even the infirmary. This is just the. Uh... Oh, okay. Oh, I see. He needs to be rescued or he gets injured. I gotcha. Okay, our planes are taken off. And we now have. Our deck ready for retrieval. Retrieve? Just in time. I think there was not much time left there. So we got them to come back in. We can retrieve the, the fighters. The submarine guys are working on that. I'm going to take a look at the submarine actually as it's moving in towards us. But it should be getting dive bombed in not too long because it's kind of close to our task force. Our plane should be coming in. Okay, there they are. Detected the enemy. That must mean that we're close to it. This is our plane's landing. Perfect. We can now uh, put them away. As we do... Actually, let's do these guys first. Whenever they're deployed, because it makes more sense to do the guys that are closer to it first. Otherwise, these guys are going to have to pull the way back. Let them go past. So we'll get them down. There we go. That should push them all uh, into the elevator here, hopefully. Oh, actually, that's a lie. They are still coming in with people. Let's cancel those. Is there still planes coming in? This actually might have been all from the recon and the combat air patrol. Okay, never mind. They're going in. That's good. We need to get everyone in the ship, though. Not just... Because uh... I think we had... Oh, no, they're still ongoing. Never mind. And they're retrieved. At least we saved our uh, our planes. I think we might have saved them. But this gives us a good idea to now rotate and head it to the actual secondary objective. Still more planes coming in, it sounds like. There we go. So we might have saved our combat air patrol and our recon because as you can see uh, they're being repaired and we got hopefully all of our fight this might be the last one that we got to call back so we'll get them to go in after those guys get put in and then we can switch actually we'll probably keep it to recovery because we do have those dive bombers going after the submarine so they should be moving into here right now there we go they're getting ready to push them in and then I guess we'll keep it on recovery or retrieval just for the time being. Did this guy ever get rescued? Yes, looks like he did. Healthy crew unit. Let's move him to engineering for now. Because there's no one in there and it's kind of freaking me out a little bit. And these guys can just move back to here. Kind of in the middle of the ship. This again makes sense to me to keep them in the middle. I'm not sure there's a dedicated room for them. Got the submarine. That's awesome. So now we can call them back as well, which means we'll stay on slow. And then once they're on board, we are going to obviously switch back to launching. And then we shall make full speed ahead as we will have to move someone over. We'll probably move this guy over here right now, actually, because we do need three people in navigation department to go full speed. So when those guys are retrieved, which hopefully won't be too long. Uh, we can uh, move out of here. Stand by to recover our craft. Oh, 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 that's not good. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, we need to be a little careful here because they are coming our way with Hayakin Defensive Fleet, including battleships, or a battleship at least, it says one. Also, then supply, repair, and submarine. So we could maybe engage those, though I kind of want to keep my sh my planes from we actually have to deal with uh, before the invasion happens. So, tactical map update. Okay, just more more stuff marked on the map right now. Are our, sh are our planes here yet? Okay, they're coming in right now. That's perfect. I think that's all them. So we can go to the flight deck. Go down. Get you to come in. Move the dive bomber squadron back to the hangar. Wait, which group? I don't I think that's not true. Okay, we'll get them in. And then we'll switch the deck to launching after that. As you can see, that's the order. Them going in, them going in. Then the third one will be to switch the deck around. 
And then we gotta figure out how we're gonna get out of this situation. We're in full speed ahead on the task force. We're still having our fighters being repaired, which would mean that we go back to eight. I feel like maybe I did lose two of them. Who really knows, honestly? And then our supply ships, did we lose one of them? Let's take a look, did we lose? Let's take a look over here. No, we might have lost a single ship because they're four, they're four, and then they lost one of the uh, the ships there, it looks like. Um, I'm not sure. I guess that just means that we may have lost like a little bit of the defensive points, but we got to get moving fast. Also, I believe we cannot launch or retrieve aircraft at night, so we're going to be in a little bit of a pickle here. All right, we are going to engage an enemy fleet, and this is how the attacks work. You got to set up a balanced attack between your fighters, your torpedo bombers, and your dive bombers. So I think we're going to just go straight away for the anvil attack, which does give us 11. We also do want some defenses, so maybe we can get torpedo run, which would be three torpedo bombers. For defenses, we want to get two fighters with eight defense right here. Actually, maybe we can switch these around. There we go. This gives us two destroyed. Three to four will return. Okay, can we get any good defensive ones? Maybe this one? Okay. I don't think we can add more because then we're at too many on our flight deck. I'm figuring maybe... It does say we will annihilate the enemy forces. So why don't we target the destroyers? Or one of the two destroyers. And then we'll confirm... Confirm this one. Confirm airstrike. Okay. Now we just have to get the amount of planes on the deck, which is two fighters, one bomber, three torpedo bombers. So let's so let's go fighter, fighter, dive bomber, and then torpedo, torpedo, torpedo. Order queue is full. That's actually this thing right here. So we're gonna have to hold on just for a second. When the fighters are on the deck, we can call in our last one which would be right now so we can call in what is it more torpedo bombers and then maybe uh this is going to be a mess i kind of should have called in fighters first and last because now obviously the last one the first ones on the deck are the ones that launch last but that's fine so we're just getting all of our planes on the deck ready it is going to be nighttime soon so i don't even know if this might work anymore it says there's three hours left so we could try and launch it but it would be a risk at this point in time to do so but you know I like to live risky so we're gonna launch our strike we're gonna go to half speed so we don't run out of the uh, the zone area this I guess we're kind of close to that we could maybe move this way and kind of follow them in all right our aircraft are gonna start taking off here soon there we go one's out two out three out four out and then the two fighters and then we'll switch our deck to recovery mode after the fighters are all gone okay they're heading out which is awesome strike timer to return at an hour at in game time hopefully that'll be something they can do see i don't know i feel like it said i can't bring them in at night now i do know there's an awesome cinematic that happens when they eventually get to uh, engage the fleet so we're just gonna have to wait here okay there we go Okay, I did lose... Okay, we destroyed their fleet. We did lose a dive bomb and a torpedo bomber, and we uh, got some fighter planes damaged. Let's take a look here at the video of what happened. Okay, this is super cinematic. Ooh, that's a... Oh, there's a zero. Knocked one of our planes down there in the cinematic. So we did manage to destroy that entire fleet, it looks like, for the loss of two of our... Uh, like, one bomber, one torpedo wing, and I think we got... Like I said, we damaged... Lost one fighter uh, to damage, but we can repair those. So what we're going to do is we are going to have to call those guys back in. Our flight deck is already on recovery, I believe. Yes. Uh, so for now, I don't think there is a save option in the game. 
I'm hoping that when I quit and we can later on return with the continue button. If not, um, you know, obviously I'll have to play through it again. But I hope you guys enjoyed this first look. It is honestly very, very interesting and a very inter entertaining game so far. Though a little bit um, hard to understand. Luckily, they do have this entire help Island section that explains everything to you with skippable videos with subtitles, which is honestly really, really awesome. I wish more games did this. So if you're not really sure what you're doing, you can take a look at the help section, which is available all the time here at the top of the game for now. Hope you guys enjoyed. Love to see you in the next one. Cheers.